Welcome to Cute eLearning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the atmospheric corrosion. Description of damage. Corrosion that occurs from moisture associated with atmospheric conditions, marine environments and moist, polluted industrial environments with airborne contaminants are the most severe. Dry rural environments cause very little corrosion. Affected materials Carbon steel, low alloy steels and copper alloyed aluminum. Critical factors The physical location of the plant, industrial, marine, urban, rural. The amount of moisture, humidity, rainfall, typically present or the presence of cooling tower mist. The presence of salts, sulfur compounds, dirt, or other contaminants in the air. Marine environments can be very corrosive, 20 mils per year, as are industrial environments that contain acids or sulfur compounds that can form acids, about 5 to 10 mils per year. Dry rural environments usually have very low corrosion rates, less than 1 mils per year. Designs that trap water or moisture in crevices are more prone to attack. Corrosion rates increase with temperature up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Above 250 degrees Fahrenheit, surfaces are usually too dry for corrosion to occur except under insulation. Chlorides, hydrogen sulfide, fly ash, and other airborne contaminates from cooling tower drift, furnace stacks and other equipment accelerate corrosion. Bird turds can also cause accelerated corrosion and unsightly stains. Affected units or equipment Unpainted, uninsulated carbon steel and low alloy steel piping and equipment operating below 250 degrees Fahrenheit where moisture can contact the surface. As illustrated in figure uninsulated carbon and low alloy steel equipment with deteriorated paint coating equipment downwind of cooling towers and wet gas scrubbers equipment may be susceptible if cycled between ambient and higher or lower operating temperatures equipment shut down or idled for prolonged periods unless properly mothballed tanks and piping are particularly susceptible piping that rests on pipe supports is very prone to attack due to water entrapment between the pipe and the support as illustrated in figure bimetallic connections such as copper to aluminum electrical connections Appearance or morphology of damage. The attack will be general or localized. 
depending upon the condition of the coating, if any, and whether or not the moisture is trapped. If there is no coating, corrosion, or loss in thickness can be more general and widespread. Localized coating failures will promote localized corrosion. Metal lost may not be visually evident. Although normally a distinctive iron oxide, red rust, scale forms, as shown in figure. Prevention, mitigation, paints or coatings are normally applied to otherwise unprotected equipment to prevent atmospheric corrosion surface preparation and proper coating application are critical for long-term protection in corrosive environments inspection and monitoring vt includes direct line of sight and indirect methods using a camera mirror laser scanning and or structured white light imaging with pit gauges ut can include techniques like straight beam or angle beam shear wave ultrasonic testing or phased array ultrasonic testing to directly measure remaining wall thickness or screening techniques using electromagnetic acoustic transducer or guided wave testing. RT may include traditional, film-based, digital, or computed radiography media and may incorporate techniques such as contact or profile RT as well as open system imaging. Eddy current testing may include a screening technique, such as pulsed eddy current. As illustrated in figure examples of Guided wave testing and UT for thickness verification. As illustrated in figure examples of real time profile X ray. Related mechanisms to atmospheric corrosion. Corrosion under insulation and concentration cell, touch point, corrosion. Summary Description Corrosion that occurs from moisture associated with atmospheric conditions. Corrosion may be general or localized. Temperature range Corrosion rates increase with temperature up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Affected metallurgy. Carbon steel, low alloy steels and copper alloy aluminum. Prevention. Surface preparation and proper coating application. Inspection methods. VT direct and indirect methods ut straight beam or swut or paut and emat or gwt rt traditional film based digital or computed radiography media or profile rt ect including pulsed eddy current
Practice time. Question number one. What temperature range atmosphere metal experiences maximum corrosion? Answer is A. Question number two. Which the following increases, the atmosphere corrosion rate? Answer is D. Question number three. Atmospheric corrosion can be accelerated by. Answer is C. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.